Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install the Lucy Heli Overdrive 1.7 version. If you have kept a keen eye, you will notice that the mod has had a bit of a transformation. This transformation is that we've upgraded from the simple install of a zip file, and now you can install the mod using just a jar file. We've had to do this mainly because of Modrunk's limitations. But this makes it very easy for the end user to install. So you no longer have to extract the zip file into your mods folder. You can just download the jar file for MC Heli Overdrive Loader. And now Now I'm using AT Launcher, but if you're using the regular launcher, you're gonna to wanna to go to the percent app data folder, mods folder, etc. If you've ever installed mods before, it's very simple. There are plenty of tutorials out there. I'm not gonna be going over that for today. So in my case, I'm using AT Launcher. So we're gonna to go to the instance for which we want to install this mod. We're gonna click open folder mods folder and we're going to make a new file explorer instance go to downloads find the mc heli loader 1.0 version 1.7 meaning this is the first version of the loader mod and the mc heli overdrive version is 1.7 now we're going to stick this into our mods folder and we're going to run the game. Now, as you can see, a pop-up will appear on our screen. It says, please do not close the Forge application. You see Heli is downloading and will take longer than normal. Now, this is going to take variable time mainly because this is based on your internet speed. So if you have a fast internet speed, you can get access to the mod faster, as in download it. If you have a slower internet speed, it's going to take a bit. Now, as for me, I don't have the best internet, so this is probably going to take a bit. As another side note, the mod no longer requires the end user to download HBM's nuclear tech as the mod actually installs HBM's nuclear tech itself. If you want to read over the code, all the documentation and source code is on GitHub. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get verified on CurseForge because we use external sources, but we've made a version that doesn't do this and we're still getting rejected for CurseForge. So since CurseForge wants to be annoying, we're not going to be using their platform for now. Now, if you look in the downloads folder, you'll notice that the mod has completed the download for HBM's nuclear tech. If you feel it necessary, you may update the HBM nuclear tech version from the one provided by the loader mod to a newer one. However, be advised that this may be unsupported and may cause issues. So please be advised if you are going to update the HBM version use at your own risk. Now, as you can see, the install is still working as intended. If you check your logs, you can see that it is still installing the actual MC Heli Overdrive mod. Again, please keep in mind that the mod may take a long time to finish installing. All right, as you can see, this pop-up will appear once the Mod is done downloading, along with that aforementioned NPM version. So, once this pops up, you're going to want to press OK. And as you can see, the game will crash. Now, this is intentional. And when you launch the game again,
Now, as you will notice, MC Heli Overdrive and HBM's Nuclear Tech are successfully installed. You can see, MC Heli Overdrive and HBM are now installed. So, just to verify everything works, I'm going to go into a super flat and press E, and we can see all the MC Heli vehicles meaning that we have successfully installed MC Heli Overdrive for 1.7.10. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. More MC Heli content coming soon.